There's nobody that loves the Second Amendment more than I do, and there's nobody that respects the NRA. They're friends of mine. They backed us all. They're great people. They're patriots. But, but they're great people. But we really do have to strengthen up, really strengthen up background checks. We have to do that. President Trump uh, going very strong, uh, explaining his relationship with the NRA, but also pushing for stronger background checks during a CPAC address. The president making these comments just one day after the NRA announced its opposition to raising the legal gun purchasing age to 21, something that President Trump has also talked about backing. Interesting enough, he did not raise or mention at least the gun purchasing age during today's speech. With me now, Stacey Washington, an NRA member and syndicated radio show host, Tim Schmidt, president of the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Stacey, uh, I'd like to start with you. Uh, the, the NRA on their tremendous amount of pressure right now. Uh, droves of companies left them. I'll, I'll ask you about that economic impact later. But what do you make now that the, the White House and the NRA don't see eye to eye completely on the solutions here? Well, actually, Charles, I'm fine with that. I, I think a discussion involves a lot of different voices and opinions. <clears throat> and the way we get where we want to be with this issue is for people to bring up lots of different ideas, discuss them, and move forward. I think the attempted demonization of the NRA is a deflection tactic. We have a corrupt system down there in Broward County, Florida, with the sheriff immediately pivoting to kind of deflecting towards making another person responsible for the dereliction of duty of his officers. Last, last segment you just talked about, not only one officer, the school resource guy, he didn't go in. He had four minutes in which to stop the shooter. He never engaged. Now we find out other officers arrived, arrived on the scene and did the same thing. These people need to be held accountable. And so, Charles, I'm talking about holding people accountable. If you are in charge and you don't spend the dollars to safe, make a building safe, you should be held accountable. If you're elected or hired I don't disagree to do with a you job, on that one, Stacey, but yeah. as, a, as, a hard, as, as someone who's been a solid NRA supporter, would you be upset if they did uh, decide to raise a federal age to 21 for a handgun, uh, uh, enhance background checks, uh, get rid of bump stocks, and maybe other, uh, other things? Would, how hard would you push back against that? Okay, so the bump stock issue, Charles, it's, it's a non-issue. If we ban bump stocks, these are items that will soon be readily available on, uh, you know, the printer. So right. you'll be able to print bump stocks. So that, that's something that but the illegal market will immediately But how hard would you push back as a, as, a, as a strong NRA member, how hard would you push back against any of those items? I mean, I, I have to say, Charles, I think we're not talking about the right things here. I would push back against raising the legal, the legal age because we have people on active duty as I was. You're, you're 18 years old. You can carry an M16 or an M60, an M4 on active duty and you can fire it. Then you come home to the United States and you're not allowed to own a firearm because you're 19 years old. I, I think we're, this, this is the wrong focus. And I want to be clear here. I know we have mental health, our entire apparatus for mental health is completely destroyed. It needs to be rebuilt. That's where we should put our initial efforts and then start talking about family life. We're talking about homes that are broken. This kid, he's, he's a monster, no doubt about it, but this kid was absolutely falling through the cracks. There's no doubt about visits. that. He fell through the yeah. cracks. The warning signs fell through the cracks. But more specifically, mm -hmm. and Tim, I, I also want to bring this up with you because Right now, the NRA is being treated like uh, public enemy number one. I'm starting to see tactics that were used by uh, uh, Reverend Sullivan back in the days when they wanted America to, to distance themselves from apartheid South Africa. Uh, you know, do they deserve this sort of treatment that they're getting? At least half a dozen companies have said they're going to drop their association or the discounts offered to NRA. And now there's pressure on AT&T, Amazon, Alphabet, Google, Roku, just to name some, not to advertise an NRA TV. Do you think that's right here? No, I don't think it's right at all. I certainly can understand uh, the consumers' knee-jerk emotional reactions to this sort of stuff, but they don't make any sense. I mean, what we need to do is come up with a real solution to protect these kids, to make it so that they don't go to schools where there's, there's absolutely zero protection. And this whole notion of, hey, let's change the, uh, you know, the age to buy guns or, 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 or let's change a few gun rules is complete crazy it's it's ultimately feel good legislation that will do absolutely zero zero good what we need to do is we need to make schools so that, the, so that they're fortresses fortresses so that people don't want to go there because they're afraid that they'll get shot do you want them to look like fortresses president trump talked about the option of having 100 security guards or 
an alternative would be concealed carry teachers who are trained and prepared to, to spring into action. Is it either or or a combination of both? No, they do not need to look like fortresses. They can look exactly how they look now. Trump is right. All we need is three to five percent of the teachers, of the administrators, of the coaches to be responsibly armed, and that will create a powerful deterrent effect. A powerful deterrent effect so that the crazies, the psychos, they're not going to come to the school just like, just like they don't go to jewelry stores right. or banks. It's not, they're not going to do it. Stacy, Tim, I wish we had more time. We have to go. Thank you very much uh, for your passionate responses. I do appreciate it, and we'll bring you back early next week to pick up from here, okay? Thank Thanks you. a lot.